What's up, guys? And so we got the golden token, a uh, gold token mask, excuse me. Telvin Smith, unfakeable and blanket coverage chemistry. 93 speed, 96 hit power, 94 block shot. I do have that uh, play rate chemistry, so keep that in mind. 92 finesse move, only 72 strength. I think that plays a big factor. Um, 94 zone, which is very nice, and 82 catch. We'll talk more about that right now. Uh, the zone coverage, it, like I said, he, he passes the threshold. With plus, you throw in the speed, and you see right here these damn C routes, man. I can't tell you how annoying these are. So it's good to have a, a, a um, linebacker with 94 zone for for that kind of stuff to be, you know, stopped on a regular basis. And like I said, 82 catch. He did drop actually like two picks. I couldn't believe that. And there are a few times where the ball is thrown right to him, and instead of picking it off, man, he decides to swat it down. That's annoying. But you see right here, these C routes, he defends them very well, and as, as well as out routes. So, as far as zone coverage, man, he did his job. For the longest time, because I did pull the um, team of the year, Levante David, and he does, you know, Levante David really raised the bar for any outside linebacker in, as far as zone coverage. But Telvin Smith, man, he did his part, like right there. See, that should have been a pick. As far as tackling, I mean, he, you know, I saw no bad things. No broken tackles thank goodness for that and of course he does have the unfakeable chemistry so that does com come into play and if you want to click on you know I do recommend clicking on if you see that your opponent trying to bounce to the outside you know I think that would really help but if you want to just let him do his own thing I guess you could I guess you could but I of course would always recommend to click on just to be safe if you see him trying to peel away to the outside and as far as pass rushing I it just wasn't there he got one or two sacks here but honestly a lot of times I actually saw offensive linemen throw him to the ground so even though I run a 3-4 and I know I think I think he's a 4-3 like right there see what I'm saying like you want to click on just uh, be safe in those situations but if you're gonna play a 3-4 and blitz him which I have my own opinions about that I'll talk about that in a different video but pass rushing is not his thing and he did cause one fumble which was nice that's gonna wrap this up guys and honestly as well as he played which was extremely well he's not cheap which is, I know is a relative word, but he goes for between 370 and 400. Is he worth that much? I mean, of course, if you got the coins, go for it. But if you're saving up for Telvin Smith, but you just can't get there, like if you don't think that you're going to be able to save there anytime soon, go with Levante David, man, or even Derek Brooks for that matter. Much cheaper cards. I can't vouch for the, uh, uh, well, I mean, of course, I would assume that the replay Levante David would be good, but I only have the team of the year Levante David, and believe me, he plays phenomenal and Tobin Smith man played very similar so I, I did not see any really flaws except like I said pass rushing but that's a whole different thing but if you just need him to be the zone coverage and to stop the run believe me that he will play perfect just have him play zone you will not be disappointed but anyways guys so that's gonna wrap this up my next review should be the 99 Dan Marino I'll let you know when that review is coming out but thanks for watching guys peace